Hey yo folks, this is Rod Rao, the Geek Bear at Large, and today we're doing a Pokemon TCG Online, uh, I, I don't want to say box opening, because it's obviously not a box, it's 50 packs. Uh, some I just went out uh, this morning and grabbed, and some I'd been saving up for a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two on uh, Pokecoins, as you can see, so some are locked, some are trade locked, some aren't. But I was kind of excited for this set because of, obviously, the Wikwaza V, and hoping I can get some uh, digital copies to play online because although I play the card game um, quite a lot online because offline I am in Korea and they don't have TCGO uh, nor do they uh, have you know all the cards are in Korean which you know I have some difficulty with which makes playing competitively you know relatively complicated also you know COVID and all that jazz but anyway let's get to it you know we have 50 packs to open so we might as well get to it uh, as soon as we can I'm hoping for something good now some treasure energy we've got uh, Rogoth <laughs> oh yes yes starting off with a Garbodor V or Garbodor or whatever you want to call it that is a great start uh, trash tent and sludge bomb okay um I can be happy with that. I mean, I could see myself using it in a deck, uh, especially because it's a basic. You know, if it was a phase two or something, no, because I know they have Trubbish, so I would love to see a Trubbish V, though. Okay. So you have two. Now up with the Slack King, and. Oh! Oh! Yes! A Lycan Rock V. Okay. Two V. Oh! Okay, Rockthorn Crashing Fang. So in your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. But still 200 attack for 3 energy and 2 fighting. Okay, let's keep the ball rolling. We already got 2 V cards. We, hey, couldn't have asked for better luck so far. Okay, finally. Ooh, you know what? I seen that uh, Entei in the... Uh, Jet Black Spirit, I think it was Jet Black Spirit, or it could have been EV Heroes uh, cards. That very, very cool 3D. I have some uh, just regular TCG uh, box openings coming up from the Korean sets, and I've unboxed some of those. So that's a pretty cool card. Uh, heat Tackle does 120 damage. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I love that artwork on that card. Come on, we start off with the Zoroark. Okay. And a Gorgeist. Okay. Okay. Can't complain all that much. We got an Eevee. Ooh, love the Eevee artwork. Come on. And we got a, a Thievil. Thievil? Thievil? Anyway. That is not a Pokemon I'm too familiar with. I guess it was maybe Gen 5. Which I didn't really play, and I have to get back to. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play eventually on uh, the channel for it. Let's go. Come on. And we've got a Pinsir. Okay. I, I do like Pinsir. Pinsir's one of my uh, favorite bug types so far. Especially, I believe it's a first gen as well. Okay, for Goth, we've got a Gordy. And another Thievul. Now, Thievul has Fumbling Hands. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to Evolve... One of your Pokemon during your turn, you may have the player shuffle their hand and put it at the bottom of their deck. Okay. Uh, it's an okay card, I guess. It, it's... It could be worse. I don't see it being played competitively, maybe for certain decks. Ooh, Galarian Moltres. Okay, that's a really great card to get. And we got a Stoutland. Okay, not so great, especially Stage 2. Nobody really plays Stage 2 anymore, but Galarian Moltres. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench during your turn, you may attach up to two Dark Energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. That's actually very great. Um, I mean, for each prize card your opponent has taken. That's a great late game, like Hail Mary card. If you have nothing left, it's a great card to have sitting on your bench. Oh, we got Nick it. And we got a Smeargle. That was the card I kept forgetting its name, Smeargle. That did came out uh, on EV uh, Heroes in uh, 
the Japan Korean set. It's a great artwork on that card. Let's keep going. And we have a uh, Reggie Drago. Okay. Hammer in and Dragon Energy, which shows this attack does 20 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay. I mean, it's if you have, if you're doing a Grass Fire deck, you might throw one or two of these in just for the sake of it, because at 240 damage for three energy, that is quite, quite good. But that's a very niche card to have. You're going to have it on for like two turns at most. It may knock something out, but. Uh. And so we got copycat. We got a new version of copycat, which is great because it means our old versions still work. I hope. And Crustle and Lilligant. Okay. We're falling off here a little bit. <laughs> Come on. And we got a Ludicolo. Okay. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may use this ability. During this turn, your basic Pokemon's attack to 100 more damp. Wow. Okay. I mean, that is quite an interesting card because it can... It's very, though... Um, how would I put it? Situational. But you, it, it does. it's definitely effective if you have... Um, yeah, if you need it in that specific circumstance. Got Pinsir. Okay. Boo Shake. Okay, so far we've got two Vs, but you know. Can't complain too much about that. <gasps> oh! Oh! Flareon VMAX! <laughs> okay, well, that is. That's definitely one to get. Uh, Max Detonate app. Uh, discard the top five cards of your deck. This attack does 100 damage for each energy card you've discarded in this way. That is going to be the next kind of Guzzlord deck, isn't it? <laughs> I can imagine playing just a few people playing just v Flareon VV Max and using that. Oh, I could see that happening for sure. Because you could imagine doing 500 damage. <sighs> oh, that would be nasty. Our damage would take everything out so quickly. But you would you would have to have a deck that has a lot of uh, energy recycle. And we're looking at... Ooh! Arctovish! You know what? I just pulled one the other day in uh, the Jet Black Spirit on those videos. So those will be coming out in the future, though. Spoiler alert, but I'm doing this video after I've done, you know, previous videos that will come out later. Arctovish, Ancient Freeze, and Giga Impact. And it is the full art version of Arctovish as well, which I'm, <laughs> I'm super happy to get full arts. Oh, man, that is another full art. Oh, Giga Impact. During your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. It's four energy at 220. Not amazing, but... I do like Ancient Freeze. If the Pokemon is a defending Pokemon is a Pokemon V or a Pokemon GX, it can attack. That is a great stalling stalling card. So I'm gonna I'm I'm assuming we're gonna see some of these uh, cards go and in, come into play in especially in the next year. Let's see what we can get. Okay, Flapple. Apple. We don't. I don't know if we've gotten Apple yet, but. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, this attack does 80 more damage. Wow. Two energy for 160 damage. That's actually a pretty good card to get. Especially, uh, it seems there seems to be a lot of cards going in that uh, Grass Fire route there. Okay, this is our last of the locked cards. Trade locked. And we get a, a Florgis. Okay. Uh, Wonder Shine, your opponent of active Pokemon is now confused. Okay. So we're going to stop there, and then we're going to look. We have 33 cards left to go. 33 packs left to go. Come on. I'm really hoping we get some really good cards out of these. And we get a Seismitoad. Okay. Not a bad start, especially we got Poplitoad there. 
Let's hope. <laughs> I'm really hoping for some good full arts or something, especially if they can be traded. Um, or traded up or used competitively would be ideal. So Ampharos, okay. I can't complain about Ampharos. And we've got a Stoutland, okay. And a Jumpluff, okay. Spinning attack to 60. Actually, that's a... Uh, I mean, it's stage 2, though. Stage 2, 1 energy, 60 damage. Uh, this Pokemon may attack... Oh, twice each turn. If the first attack knocks out your opponent's active... It may attack again after your opponent chooses a new active Pokemon. Ooh, okay. That's a little interesting. It's stage two, so it's hard to, you know, it's hard to get up there. But I could see it being used in, you know, Dex as a support card. And we got a Galarian Zapdos. Okay. And a Altaria. Uh, two energy, 60 damage glide. Uh, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card. Reveal it. Shuffle your deck, then put a card on top of it. Okay. I could see that. Uh, I could see that being used competitively. This point, let's hope for, okay, Galarian Zapdos, another one. Uh, it's a three energy, 70 damage. You may discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't see it being used that much, to be honest. It's just, it seems to be a hard card to get up to, or at least maybe easier, but, you know, a card that's hard to use properly. A Sharpedo, okay. Uh, we're winding down here. Uh, I'm getting nervous. We've already had some great pulls, but here we are. Oh! 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 Oh, man. Oh, I didn't think I would... Oh. Oh, a full art Neuvern GX. Uh, Neuvern V. What am I saying? V, V. Um, Boom Burst and Synchro Loud. So this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. And that's no... Oh, one energy required, right? And two energy for Synchro Loud. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 120 more damage. Okay, that seems to be a very niche card to use. Um, But, oh. Full art, no even... Oh, I'm very, very happy with that. <laughs> we got a full art. Oh. Oh, we've got two full arts. That's amazing. Okay, man. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. A Dracozolt V Max. Oh, my God. That's really good luck. Back to back. <laughs> uh, Spark Trap. During your opponent's next turn, this if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, put 12 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. That sounds very niche to me. Um, but that is cool. It can have some setup there. And a 200 damage, 4 energy max impact. Okay. Honestly, I'm happy to get... Woo, I'm shaking here. <laughs> I still don't know what the highlight card... I guess Rayquaza V is the highlight card that everybody wants to get on here. And we haven't got that yet, but... I'm super ecstatic about the cards we have got. We've got quite a lot, so... Okay, Thievul. Thievul, okay. We're going through it. You know? Let's hope. Come on. Altaria. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to, like, keep pump. My hands are shaking. A little bit nervous here, you know. As we wind down. Get my Lodic. Okay. Double smash. Uh, flip two coins. This attack does 70 damage for each heads. Okay. Now, this video is coming out basically right after I do this. I'm just going to do this, do some simple editing, and then push this video out. So, very off the cuff at the moment. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Um, okay. Um, Suicune V. Uh, Fleet-footed. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may draw a card. That's a really, really good ability. Um, and Blizzard Rondo. This attack does 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon. Oh, I mean, you know what? I could see this being used competitively quite a lot. Simply for the Fleet-Footed and Blizzard Rondo as like a secondary V card to have in your deck. I see that being used quite often. Just simply because you could have 
Um, 20 plus, I think it would do 120 damage roughly at two for two energy. So that's pretty average, but that fleet footed really, really, really opens it up to for, uh, popular use. Oh boy. Um, we're doing really well. Milotic and, oh, <laughs> we're having all the luck today, even though it's not like some amazing, we still get, uh, Duraludon, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, Metal Claw, 2 for 70 damage, and 3 energy for 140 damage. A journey your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon sack do 30 less damage. Oh, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, I actually really like that card. The 3 for 140, and it reduces damage, so I could see that being used quite often, especially because it has no weakness and no uh, resistance, or no weakness anyway. If it had resistance, that'd be even better, but, you know, we can't hope for everything. Scroll of the Flying Dragon Rapid Strike. Okay. And we got a Wishy-Washy. Okay. Okay. We're down, getting down to the last, you know, few packs, I guess you could say. And we got a Gorgeist. Okay. Another Gorgeist. I can do it. I can do it. On. Okay, Slack King. Stage 2, Avalog and Slack King. Slack King is, if the stadium is in play, this Pokemon can attack. But it does do uh, 120 damage plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I could see this being actually uh, used competitively if the setup, if it wasn't Stage 2. Stage 2 kind of hurts it a little bit, but... I could see it being used very nichely, though. Like, I would do it in, like, some sort of silly deck. I could see myself building a silly deck around it. And we got a Drampa. A Gorescrew Punch for 30 and a Berserk for 70. If your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 90 more damage. Okay. That, I, I, again, I could see that being used. Not, like, some incredible card, but I could see it being used quite often. Uh, Zygarde. Okay, uh... This does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for e Ooh! Ooh, that's an interesting one. So, Bite does 30, but it, a third... So, it could do quite a lot of damage. Um, but again, it's a very niche card. Uh-oh. Building packs, I'm like, is the game gonna crash? I hope not. No. Uh, we've got... We've got a Marsh Shadow. Okay. Shadow Flicker. If the Penny Pokemon is knocked out during your next turn, take one more price card. Okay. I, I don't know who would use this. I mean, search your deck for up to two Rapid Strike cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. I, I could see it being used for Rapid Hunt, but that's about it. I don't see it being used much else. Let's go. we got Scroll of the Flying Dragon and a Altaria. Okay. Okay. My hands are shaking. Very happy with the results so far, but you know, we are yet. Oh, Galarian Moltres. Okay. Very, very happy with that card. And oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Lycanroc V. That's our second one. So that's actually even better as a V card to get because we can actually work it into a currently existing deck or we can tr start working towards building a deck around it. So. Mid Crashing Fangs in your next turn, Pokemon can't attack. It's great. Three energy, 200 damage. It's pretty good. Let's go here. And we got a Sharpedo. Okay, we've got nine packs left. This is well, this is our 10th pack, but 40th pack. We've got two pole doors. That's a little unfortunate, but. Oh, a Trevenant V Mac. Oh, I got missing in the forest. This attack does 40 damage for each supporter card in your opponent's discard. Oh boy, that's scary. Each supporter card. Wow, that is a, a late game monster. Could you imagine it has like five? Oh, wow, that could easily just wipe people. Like if, it, if your game goes quite a bit long, that's just destroys everything wow 
does have a weakness to fire, but I could see that being used, yeah, in like very niche decks, yeah. That's quite awesome. Okay. <laughs> We've got Gigalith, and we've got a Gorgeist. I think at least we've got more than enough Gorgeist now. <laughs> and we have a Gigalith, and we- Oh! oh ooh, ooh! Ooh, okay! We got a regular Noivern V. It's our second Noivern V. Uh, it has those Boom Burst and Synchro Loud, as we've said before. I do like the arts on these cards. They've done a really good job with these, but, you know, let's continue on. And again, we've got a shift tree. Okay. Okay. We're down to the last six packs. Can we hope for one more V card? So we got a Marshadow and we got a Sharpedo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, anything more is just icing on the cake. We've got Gigalith. A spirit mask and we've got a ludicolo okay okay Whew. my voice i'm losing my voice here okay oh galarian articuno so i think we've got now the full set of all three of the legendary birds because cruel charge and psy laser discards all psychic energy from this pokemon does 20 damage to one i don't know about that move I mean, it does do one damage, so it could be used in, like, a last chance kind of resort, but I don't see it being used all that much. See, we have a Smeargle. Okay. And we're on the last pack. The last pack. <laughs> Let's hope. That's over something good. Drum roll. And, well, at least it's a new card. We did not have this. It is a Hydrogenon. Or Hydra... Hydreigon? Yeah? I don't know. I always pronounce it Hydre. Hydreigon. Hydreigon or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've got to look that up eventually. There's Dragon Counter and Pitch Black Fangs. Ooh, that is a lot of damage though. But for a stage two, it's a lot of setup. So I don't know about that. But anyway, we did amazing. If we take a look at, if we go to our filters and we go to Evolving Skies, we apply the V cards that we were able to get. We got a Trevenant V Max, a Suicune V, Noivern V Full Art, a regular Noivern V, a Lycan Rock, a Garbodor V, a Flareon V Max. Oh, that is such a cool card. Uh, Duraludon V, a uh, Dracozolt V Max, and an Arctovish V. I was hoping to get Flareon V so I could actually work this into a deck at some point, but that does not look to be happening, which is unfortunate. I'll have to find one through trades or, you know, through more pack openings. But if I do do more pack openings, I'll definitely post them on here. So that is an amazing set of cards for 50 packs. So that was, on average, it looks to be one, one V card for every five packs, roughly, I guess. Which actually is a pretty, I would say, a pretty, pretty good ratio there. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please follow and subscribe for more. I'm doing a lot of Pokemon stuff recently, and I'll be continuing doing that, as well as all sorts of random other stuff, whatever I can think of, I'll be putting on, and just, you know, you know, whatever happens. So please like and subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching, and have an absolutely fantastic day.